Let's open up on cover now and win. Siege is fully working. Let's open it up. And um, yeah, that was the easiest way to jailbreak completely untethered in my entire life. Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you a brand new easy way to set up Fugu 14 and uncover jailbreak. With these two tools you can jailbreak iOS 14.4 up until iOS 14.5.1, all firmwares in between completely untethered. So for this tutorial I'll be covering the brand new alt store update. With this alt store update, when you siloed uncover, it will set up Fugu 14 automatically. This means you don't need to go through Xcode, you don't need to use the terminal, everything is really easy to set up. So first of all, let's make sure we are supported. We do this by opening up settings, then find general then find about. Under model name, you need to be running iPhone XR, iPhone XS and newer. If you're running these older iPhones at the time of recording, this tutorial will not work for you. I recommend you use CheckRain, which will work for you, tutorial in the description. Next, for software version, you need to be running iOS 14.4 up until iOS 14.5.1 in order to enjoy the untethered jailbreak. You can also follow this tutorial on iOS 14.3. However, just keep in mind that if you're on iOS 14.2 and older, you can still follow this tutorial, but the untethered part will not show up. This means you will only be able to jailbreak semi-untethered. So for this tutorial, I'm using iOS 14.1. I'll walk you through the process if you're running these newer software versions on exactly the steps you need to take in order to have the untethered ever fully working but keep in mind 14.2 and older at the time of recording cannot enjoy the untethered experience finally you will need access to either a windows or mac computer so this is far better than last time where you could only follow this guide on a mac and the process was really hard the reason why we need a windows or mac is in order to, uh, to set up alt store so if you don't have access to a computer you will borrow one from a friend or we'll just go to a store which has a display computer available because when you jailbreak untethered you only need to do this once once you've done this once you'll be able to have i mean an untethered jailbreak you don't need to worry about resigning uncover ever again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move to my computer and i'm going to show you the full process of how to set up alt store for windows i want you to open up the microsoft store search for itunes and if you have this version downloaded delete it next search for icloud on the microsoft store if you have this version delete it then go to alt store link in the description click on the faq then you see download the latest version of itunes directly from apple right click open a new tab you'll be brought to the itunes page scroll down click looking for other versions windows and then click download itunes for windows now 64-bit download this and set it up Next, you'll need to find, download the latest version of iCloud, right click, open a new tab, you'll be brought to this page, scroll down, and you just want to see, download iCloud for Windows, right click this, open a new tab, and if you're having a bit of an issue where the download doesn't start, right click here, copy link address, and paste that into a new tab, and then the iCloud download will start. After installing both iTunes and iCloud, make sure to restart your computer. If you don't restart your computer, Alt Store will not function. Once you've set up iTunes and iCloud, head over to the homepage of Alt Store and then click on the Windows download. You will need to be running Windows 10 or any future versions of Windows in order to use Alt Server. If you are running these older Windows versions, just update. Next, you can see the Alt Install.zip. Just click on this one and you see Alt Install of the MSI, set up the EXE. You just want to drag these two to the desktop, then click on the setup right here and set up Alt Server. Next, open up iTunes and plug your device to the computer. On your device, you should see a message saying trust this computer. Just tap on trust, enter in your passcode. If you see this message, just click on continue. Then click on agree to this welcome message and you should see your iPhone show up. If you see this message, just click on continue. And once you're on this page, you want to scroll down to the bottom and you see right here, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. Click on this and then click on apply, then click on done. Then we can close out of iTunes, quit, and then search up for alt server and open this one up. You should see at the bottom right the alt server application if you don't see it click on this upwards facing arrow and you should see the alt server show up right here left click the alt server icon hover over install alt store and then find your device you will now be asked to enter in your apple id and password your apple id and password are only sent to apple server so this is completely safe to do if you're not okay with entering your apple id and password create a brand new apple id and use that burn apple id with alt store you may be asked to enter in your two-factor code just check your devices and enter that in you receive this message just click on ok and now alt store should install onto your device just be patient on the Mac first, plug your device into the computer, open up the Finder application, should see your device, just click on it. If you're asked to trust the connection, tap on trust, enter in your passcode and you'll be brought to this page. Scroll down until you see, show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi, click on this, apply and then close out the Finder application. Next, go to the Alt Store download in the description, click on Mac OS, save and wait for Alt Store to download. Click on the .zip, wait for it to extract and you see the Alt Server application. 
Drag and drop this into the applications area. If you have installed Altster before, just click on replace. Next, right click on Alt Server, open, click on open again. Now you can see Alt Server is open. Click on the Alt Server icon, click install mail plugin, install mail plugin, enter in your passcode. Now the mail plugin is installed. If mail is opened, close out of it, reopen the mail application, then click on mail, preferences, manage plugins, alt plugin not mail bundle, click on it, then click on apply and restart mail. When using alt server, make sure the mail application is minimized so alt server can communicate with the mail bundle. Next, click on the alt server icon, install alt tool, select your device and enter in your Apple ID and password. Your Apple ID and password are only sent to Apple servers. However, if you don't trust Altstool, create a brand new Apple ID and use that burn Apple ID inside of this field. Once you've entered your Apple ID, you may see this prompt. Just click on continue and now Altstool should install onto your device. Once Altstool is installed, I want you to head over to settings, then find general, then find device management, then find developer app, tap on trust, trust again, and then the Altstool application should open up. Once Altstool is open, you may be asked prompts such as allow Altstool to connect to devices on the local network. Just tap on allow for that. Next, just go to settings, tap on sign in with Apple ID. If this page doesn't show up, but you see instead could not connect to Alt server, all you need to do is just plug in your device into the computer until you're done with the jailbreak process. Here you just want to enter in the same Apple ID and password as you used to siloed Alt Stool. Once you've done this, you'll see how it works. Just tap on got it and we're good to go. Next, just head over to the Uncover website and just tap on Open in Alt Store. Open again. And now for me, Uncover is going to regularly siloed. For you, you're going to have a different process. So if you're on 14.4 up until 14.5.1, you're going to see this message right here, which says jailbreak requires untethering. Just tap on Install Untethered Jailbreak. Once you do this, you're going to see this message saying Installing Uncover Placeholder. If anything fails, again, just make sure you plug your device to the computer make sure all the server is open. After the placeholder has installed, you have an option to open the placeholder application. The placeholder application should look something like this. Just tap on set up Fugu 14, wait for it to complete. Once it's completed, you'll be asked to go back into the Altstore application. And once you're here, you'll see patching uncover placeholder. It will either automatically open you to the placeholder application, or you just need to open it up manually by just tapping on the button. And once you're here, instead of setup Fugu 14, you'll see install untether or jailbreak untether, something like that. Wait for it to complete. Once it completes, it will ask to restart your device. Just restart your device. And then the final step here is if I just go through, you will need to tap on install uncover jailbreak. There'll be a message inside the alt store. So just open up alt store after the reboot and you should have the option to install uncover jailbreak. Once that's done, you should have uncover on your device. And once you have uncover, I'll show you the final step. So let's open up uncover now and win. So you just need to tap on jailbreak until you know things work. So just wait for it to do its thing. This may take multiple attempts. Just tap on jailbreak and 2 cc you're on the home screen. That's really how it goes. So let's just tap on the X here. I think I need to do this one more time. So I'll just tap on OK and I'll cut. So once everything is done. All right, here we go. It's almost done. Now keep in mind, after you jailbreak successfully, you'll see an untether app on your home screen. This will only show up if you're running the iOS 14.3 up until 14.5.1 firmware. Once you have this untether application, this application will never expire, right? This untether app will always work, which means every single time you restart your device, you just open up the untether application and use that to re-jailbreak. You can delete the old uncover application off of your device if you would like to, which is awesome. That means essentially you want to jailbreak at any time. You don't need to worry about the third party app stores being signed. You just tap on the jailbreak button and win. So here we go. We can see Sid is fully working. Let's open it up. And um, yeah, that was the easiest way to jailbreak completely untethered in my entire life. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.